indie band Young the Giants coming to GR this fall as part of Hope Network Foundation's Sounds Like Hope Benefit Concert Series. The show is, at November, is November 11th at GLC Live at 20 Monroe. A special Hope Network pre-sale is actually live right now. They'll go on sale to the general public tomorrow, July 14th, 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com and at the 20 Monroe box office. Those tickets start at 45 bucks with limited VIP ticket options available as well. The concert's one of many foundation events designed to raise funds for Hope Network programs while increasing awareness and support for mental health care. And you can enjoy a free family-friendly concert tonight at Walker Community Park. It all starts at 6.30. The Green Bridge Band will be performing with musical influences ranging from Motown to worship, 80s hair bands. They do it all. They've got a little something for everybody. So don't forget your blankets, your lawn chairs. You're welcome to bring coolers for a picnic in the park or enjoy a tasty meal from the food trucks that'll be there. Meanwhile, Berger Chevy, they're helping out the community. They need your help tomorrow. Here's the deal. As you're passing the dealership, Berger Chevrolet, right there on the corner of 28th and Breton, keep an eye out for their honk for charity signs. <laughs> All right, if you see this, one honk equals one dollar. It's a donation to help purchase school supplies for elementary and middle schools in Kent County through the heart of West Michigan's Stuff the Bus campaign. So, so honk as many times as you yeah, can as you go by. by. <laughs> I'm like, I'll have fun with that. Well, as the number of electric vehicles on the road grows, so does the need for more charging stations, and Consumers Energy recognizes this. It is hoping to install more EV chargers at apartment buildings, condos, and overnight community locations across the state. The new multifamily EV charging program will offer $7,500 rebates to property owners who invest in overnight charging for their tenants. Consumers also offering that rebate to 25 municipalities that install charging stations near multifamily properties. Anyone can learn more at Consumers ConsumersEnergy.com slash overnight charge. And multiple Grand Rapids breweries are in the running for best in the nation once more. In addition to Grand Rapids, the city being up once again for best beer city in America. Two Grand Rapids bars are up for beer related honors in USA Today and 10 best readers polls. Grand Rapids Hopcat is in the running for best beer bar in the U.S. And City Built Brewing is also up for best brew pub in the U.S. You can vote for Hopcat and City Built once per day through Monday, July 24th at noon by going to 10best.com slash awards. Love that. Love City Built and, and some cosmic fries. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like, it's like the atmosphere On of Hopcat, Friday. right? Oh my gosh. So, yeah, so I just good. think it looks cool. <laughs> hey, your Fox 17 forecast. Get a little rain last night? A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that rain might be sticking around. A chance of showers and thunderstorms today. Scattered, more scattered than it was yesterday. Uh, tomorrow, a chance of storms sticking around too, pretty much through the weekend until Sunday. So, Keep the umbrella handy. My garden loves it, by the uh, way. Yeah, right? Yeah, Everything going to be growing like crazy. Your yard going to be needing to mow real soon. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. just mowed it yesterday. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I did, right before the race. Smart. Yep. All right.